I've come here to see how the climate change decisions are going to help farmers because there is so much knowledge but there is very little action. My hope here, my expectations here for the Forest Day is that all what has been said this morning during the plenary sessions from those high-level personalities should be put in place and I would like action in a quick way for that. Second, uh, we would like that um, this red plus mechanism will take place as sooner as possible because in developing countries such as Madagascar for example we need such kind of tools and mechanisms. To see the consensus of the issues that we need to bring forward to the negotiators for COP15. That people get it here will find a, a, a reasonable and an adequate solution for uh, designing a good uh, mechanism for RADD. To learn uh, what's been happening on the forestry side, to how we can apply that knowledge and lessons to agriculture and bring that into the climate change uh, debate. There are certainly lots of opportunities for uh, agriculture to contribute to the reduction in greenhouse gases. Um, one of the areas that's, I think, most promising is the uh, reduction of N2O emissions or nitrous oxide emissions from the application of fertilizer. We are working with farmers to use renewable energy, that is charcoal briquettes. Instead of using firewood cutting forests, we are now using uh, agricultural residues in order to create charcoal briquettes that are more uh, an efficient way for energy. Secondly, we are doing agroforestry where we are planting trees like Grevelia uh, and other agroforest trees within our farming practices and systems to, is to have nitrogen. Climate change negotiation can be a catalyst for a new way of doing farming and a modern way of doing farming. COP15, no agriculture, no deal. No AFOLU, no deal. We need agriculture, forestry, and sustainable land uses for us to mitigate against climate change. We need additional financing to help smallholder farmers adapt to climate change because their lives and livelihoods depend entirely on agriculture, which will be affected seriously by the impact of climate change. They must make sure that it goes down to the grassroots so that we know what is to happen and we know and understand what climate change is. Keep the door open to agriculture for mitigation and adaptation. Thank you. Thank you. Stop with all these meetings and start action. Too many meetings, too much discussion. Uh, uh, institutions can argue forever. We need action now. Please invest in knowledge. No agriculture, no agreement. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, no agriculture, no deal. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Farmers are ready to produce enough food for the burgeoning population. But the global community should also look after the farmers. We need a deal, and a fair and equitable deal which is going to benefit poor people in developing countries. Climate change is just a symptom of a deeper problem that we have, we face. And climate change should be put into a broader context. Use the moment of climate change to do what's right, but we know what to do.